is that when, when mortgages go up, all of a sudden that's beyond their means and their income. And they should know that. So we've partnered with the county to start a, a, a department of folks who are trying to reach out and do things together. And that, in my opinion, is what we should do continuously, is work with the county to be able to do those types of things. We have partnered with the realtors uh, several years ago and others to try to get information out to people. There are good lenders there. I've been involved through the Conference of Mayors with the Mortgage Bankers Association. They want to put a stop to this terrible problem of people taking advantage of advantage of people who aren't sophisticated in terms of looking at legal contracts. But the biggest difference is that people need to not sign something until they get someone who is knowledgeable and trained in that business to look at that contract and they know then and are aware of what they're signing. That is the biggest problem and it's education and we're constantly putting out information trying to get people to not sign a document before they know what they're signing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, on uh, subprime lending, certainly the city has a responsibility to educate the citizenry, and I don't know that we're doing as much as we can. We have some uh, period, periodicals or news magazines that go out, and I think that should be a feature story as long as this uh, situation is going on. And additionally, I think the city needs to um, offer its services to people. Before you sign a contract, it should be known that we have people downtown that are knowledgeable, and the citizens of Akron are paying for them. So they bring their contracts down and let us look them over, and we'll tell them whether or not this is a good deal and explain the fine print to them. And so the city should be providing that uh, opportunity to the citizens of Akron. And of course, the fact that we're one of the highest in the country, not to mention the state, is an embarrassment. We don't want that kind of a record uh, to be touted about our uh, Akron, that we have one of the highest uh, foreclosures uh, around. That's not a good thing at all. So the city needs to do more in terms of educating the people has been, has been mentioned, but I don't think we're doing enough. And also, why don't we offer our services? We have a law department. We have people knowledgeable in these contracts. Let us uh, have office hours to those people to bring their contracts in. We'll review them for them and we'll advise them whether or not this is a good deal. Thank you. <laughs> Regional, regional, regionalism has become the focus of attention and thousands of foundation dollars uh, in Ohio. Being as specific as possible, name one or two areas where regional, regionalism can benefit Akron and one or two areas where we are better going it alone. Uh, I guess that's to me, is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, and regionalism, and I, I certainly want to uh, congratulate our Governor uh, Strickland for a uh, call to regionalism. I think it's real important. In this time of a uh, very tight budget uh, that the cities have and the surrounding communities, it's very important that we figure out ways where we can work together to save money, if it's in the benefit of the people. And it was just mentioned the other day in the paper that four small school districts are employing one superintendent instead of four. And one superintendent can, can well take care of those four school districts, and they're all saving a lot of money one quarter that they're paying out. So that's a good idea. And certainly in policing, I don't think that affects Akron if we go against uh, what would be, not, not to our benefit. Uh, I don't think we can share the police department. The sheriff's department takes care of uh, the uh, townships and so on. But certainly in regionalism, we could look at other areas that we share. We do in the JEDs, the water. And I know the mayor had a hand in that. But that's a, that's a good idea that we do have um, shared water with the people around us, that's a good plan. But I think in some areas like, like uh, police would not serve the Akron area very well. But I will say a key to regionalism here, a key to regionalism is personality. You have to get along with your neighbors. You can't call them wackos and liars and can't be trusted people. You can't sling mud at people and then ask them to the table. It's not going to work. And so you must develop a positive relationship with your neighbors, and we don't have that right now, so I don't know that we can uh, move forward with the current uh, administration because he's alienated his neighbors. So I'm good friends with our neighbors, regardless of their party or whoever they are. I talk to them, I'm friends with them, and if I'm mayor of Akron, I'm sure that I can work with them in bringing about regionalism to uh, our area. Thank you. Sure. 
Anyone who does nothing never gets in trouble, never gets anybody mad at them, never accomplishes anything, but never gets into a battle with anyone. So for the first time maybe today, my opponent has told the truth. He gets along because you have to be able to accomplish something by working towards a goal and sometimes goals conflict. And I have here uh, with us today, as I look around the room, I mentioned a number of people, uh, but uh, Karen Fischel is the mayor of Stowe. City of Akron, since before I came in to City Hall more than 34 years ago, have been working without a water contract. And Karen Fischel, with her leadership, and saying to her council and her people, look, we need a deal, we're gonna cut this deal. She and I have a water, sh a water agreement and a tax sharing agreement because we sat down at the table and it was tough sometimes. She yelled back at me and I told her what I thought our position was. That's the process. I'm not mad at Karen. I think the world of Karen. She's the first mayor in 35 years in Stowe that's had the guts to tell her own people, this is what we need to do and we need to reach an agreement. And we're gonna be able to provide water for the next 99 years and we'll get a little bit of something out of it and it's the result of two people sitting down with opposite goals maybe. She'd probably like us to give water for free. And if you're a nice person and you wanna make everybody happy, maybe you just give water away, but that's not representing the citizens of Akron. I had a problem with the mayor of Cauga Falls. It isn't a secret. Someone <laughs> reneges on four different deals. I'm not a very happy guy, not a secret. But we found a way this year, tiny little article about it, not, not a great deal of fanfare, but we made a deal with them to settle our differences in the old Northampton over water and tax sharing, and we completed a water and tax sharing deal with Cauga Falls, of all things. Now, the mayor blamed it on council, so we talked to council members. Tim Gorbach is here, and Tim is a sophisticated guy who is an accountant and runs, helps run a major company, and I don't think that he just gave in to the mayor's wishes. I know that Karen Fischel didn't. It was a matter of negotiating, as two competent people can do, the same thing we did in the, with the JED contracts, the same thing we've done with the schools, the same thing we've done with literally dozens and dozens of important institutions and organizations to make things work in this community. So this thing that he you know, always throws out, and he does it many times out in the neighborhoods and out in the community groups, that, oh, I just can't get along with anybody. It's not the case. I will stand up for the citizens of Akron and do what's right for the mm. citizens of Akron. And sometimes that means being controversial because, again, people don't like change and they don't like to share facilities. You know, they like to, all of everybody to have their own turf. But the more we can do that on a regional basis and a city basis, the better off we'll be. On, on terms of the, the cooperation and on a regional basis. I think my record that I just talked about has proven we have agreements with four townships, five of our local communities. And the one thing that I know, and I'm gonna answer the second part first, is that I would not give up my, our water system. My belief is that that system is an asset that cities have made the mistake, and Cleveland does it continuously. They serve 52 communities and they keep running in wa water out further. And the plain dealer moved their operations, the majority of their employees, outside of the city of Cleveland because Cleveland provided water to their neighbor. And it's a nice gesture, make friends out there, but it doesn't help the citizens of Cleveland. So I would not give up the water system. In almost every other area though, we have a, one small little department that we gave up, Weights and Measures. There are numerous opportunities, I believe, for us to do jointly with the county the kinds of services that will save taxpayers money. And I'm committed to doing that, including looking at some police issues. You know, we have a sheriff that used to be in the Akron Police Department. He knows that department well. It's really a, a, an opportunity for us to work with him to find out. And I use an example a, number, a couple of years ago. Think about it. When there's a felony crime committed in a city, in some